Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I always like to do that because I know that they go home at the end of the day and when you ask them, what did you do today? And they say, nothing. I want you to know they're really doing stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, first we have Mr. Greeno who will be coming up and sharing some awards with us. school enrichment program again this year. In this program, the students complete many higher order thinking activities. We focused on STEM activities to get the students planning, creating, and building. I work with some extremely hardworking students, and I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize them for their dedication and hard work. Olivia Barello. Jackson. 
Emma Raska. And Shaylin Greco. Shaylin Freckles. Thank you. And for outstanding respect in my homeroom, Grace Moore. and Brian Ellis. Next we have Mrs. Brewster come out and give some academic awards. Good morning. I have a few awards for math and reading for my kiddos. My first award is for excellence in math achievement. This is for the student that maintained the highest average in math for the whole year. Jacob Pazan Cole. <laughs> My next award is for the most improved math student. This student was the quiet worker that did not go unnoticed for their hard work and determination to do their best. Sky Eddie. <laughs> Next, my reading awards. My first reading award is for excellence in reading achievement. This is for the students that achieved the highest averages in English language arts and reading class. Jacob Kazan Cole. <laughs> Sky Eddy. <laughs> My next award in ELA is for the students that worked extremely hard and made the most improvement since the beginning of the year. That may happen. <laughs> Maddox Tenemore. Yeah. <laughs> My last awards are for the outstanding participation in reading class. These students were always ready to discuss whatever we were reading in class, or anything else. <laughs> Riley Grizzly. <laughs> and Jacob is on call. <clears throat> Thank you. This year, we learn a lot, and it's very, very rigorous. So we practice spelling, grammar, writing. We do a lot of essay writing. They like to grow a lot, but they improved so much this year. Um, I would like to start with my awards for uh, average greater than 90 or above. And I would like to start with Olivia Borello. Grace Moore. 
Shailen Brecker. Yeah, Logan. Good job, bud. And Kellen Krupp.
Grace Moore. focuses on the body systems. We start out the year taking a general look at the body systems and then we break each one down into detail. Nutrition and personal health is a huge focus. My goal as our health teacher is to teach them to be the healthiest that they can be inside and out and be responsible for their own health. We were able to grow some of our own food in class and eat some of the yummy salads that we grew. We made our own healthy maple syrup and we even dissected some pig's lungs for help. The following students were able to maintain an 85% or higher overall grade point average for the entire school year. Please come up when I call your name. Jaden Wong. Oh, Jaden! Max Sanchez. Whitney Pelletier. Brian Ellis. Olivia Kozlowski. Jacob Bazan Cole. Gracie Moore. And with the highest class average of a 97%, Emma Raska. All of our 
our science experiments focused around the scientific method. The students performed a number of hands-on projects. We did a great deal of plants, as I mentioned before. We planted in dirt and in our hydroponic tower. We also transplanted plants in our box gardens outside of the elementary. We tapped trees and made maple syrup and we matched chickens. We had two excellent science-related field trips this year, one to the Buffalo Museum of Science and then to Niagara Falls. As you can tell from the video that we watched, a great deal of fun learning took place this year. The following students were able to maintain an 85% or better overall yearly average. Jaden Wall. Olivia Borello. <laughs> Whitney Pelletier. <laughs> Sebastian Shelley. Jacob Huzik. <laughs> Javian Jackson. <laughs> Sienna Nagel. or higher Abigail Gruber. <laughs> Shaylin Freckle. <laughs> Jacob Pazan Cole. Grace Moore. And again, with the highest average for the year in science, with a 97%, Emma Raska. curriculum, it's a new skill is taught almost every day with homework to follow. Success in sixth grade math requires the majority of kids to work really hard, and that means putting in extra time to do their homework and effort and to really keep their head in the game. 